So I'm working on a couple of electric mowers today. Um, electric mowers appeal to some and not others. I mean, it has its good points and bad points. The good points, of course, it's zero emissions. Uh, you don't have to worry about gas and oil and, you know, tuning it up and, you know, uh, spark plugs, all that good stuff. Uh, and they're very quiet. Uh, and they cut very well, just like any mower if you keep the blades uh, in good shape. Uh, they they cut the grass very well, and they're they're really made for for smaller yards. If you have a small yard and uh, uh, you know very well manicured that kind of thing, man, you can zip right along, and uh, and they take up very little space in your garage. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of good points. Bad points. Um, well, you have to drag around a uh, an extension cord, but uh, and, and there are some that are cordless. But when those batteries run out, you know they're they're they can be pretty expensive to replace. Um, oh, what are the bad points? If you have a really you know thick, large yard, you have to drag that extension cord around, and it can be kind of awkward sometimes. But uh, um, and they're not fail safe. There are a few things that can go wrong with an electric mower. Uh, when you look into it, you you have a switch up here that can go bad. Um, of course, you have the electric motor itself that could go bad. The brushes on the mower that need to be replaced every once in a while. And there's also a, a bridge rectifier that is mounted on the mower, and it's very common for that to go out. And others have an, an added uh, capacitor. So there are a few a few points there that uh, you know they don't last forever. Um, so we'll cover a couple of these in the next couple of videos. Okay, here we have a Black and Decker electric mower. Now the customer was saying uh, it was making some weird noises, and uh, and his neighbor, an engineer, said, "Well, it's making noises that it shouldn't be making." So. Uh, he handed it over to me, and when I plugged it in, I could immediately, um, and I checked the switch. So the switch is working, um, and it wasn't blowing a breaker uh, when I plugged it in. Uh, but, you know, I could hear a hum, and after a couple of times, you could smell that, that burnt toast smell. So something's burning up in there. Um, so what I did, there's six screws. You know, three on each side here, and this plastic housing comes off of it. And this is what I found. Yo! It is clogged with stuff. I mean, all in here, there's the meat of it. But you can see it's down in the motor, too. So what I'm going to do is, uh, of course, take all this out. I'll probably take the housing off this motor uh, and give it a good cleaning and check the brushes and make sure they're not bent up or anything. It's, it's probably clogged up and and when I'm looking at the at the blade, let me give you a good shot of this. When I was looking at the blade how loose that was spinning around but it's awfully hard to to turn the actual motor uh, this is just freewheeling right now but once I take this off yeah it's it that should be freely rotating so so the motor is jammed up here on the front um, so let's take it apart, clean it up, and see if we can get it working. So we're looking down at the motor here. Um, I just kind of shook everything off. It still looks like there's some dirt and junk in there. I don't know what this was. I just knocked loose. It looked like uh, some burnt plastic or something. Um, well, I'll get that out in a second. Oh, there it is. Yep, broken. 
This here is the bridge rectifier. It's very common to go out on it. I'm not sure if this one has or not. Once I clean this stuff up, I can double check. Um, and on each side, you have a positive and negative. These are the, the housings that have the brushes on it. So uh, let's dig in and take a look. This looks pretty bad. There's just bits and pieces of this motor everywhere. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so this thing is just completely broken apart. This is the big magnet that surrounds the motor. And it is just in pieces down here. So that was definitely the culprit. Um, we can take this thing apart and see what he wants to do. Does he want to replace the motor or is it trash? So electric mowers, you can see, um, although they take a little less uh, upkeep and servicing, uh, they can fail. And this is a catastrophic failure here. Um, this motor will definitely have to be replaced. My guess is it's either a rock from underneath the bottom, which could work its way up, but you know, it's got this little fan shroud that covers it. But you can see all the junk that built up inside of this, inside the housing, and definitely worked its way down through this top and uh, down into the motor itself. So uh, something in here worked its way in and started grinding away, and it just finally just started shattering the insides of the motor on the magnet so so if you want them to last just keep them clean don't be afraid to take the housing off and uh, and clean it up uh, and it'll probably last a little longer for you so be sure to subscribe to our channel we got more videos coming